Over 60 specially made crown-shaped ridge tiles are being added to the North End Annex of Dunedin Prison, along with several finials. The finishing touches to one of Dunedin's most interesting historic buildings. I'm Roselle Labone. I'm here on the roof of Dunedin Prison where the restoration and reinstatement of missing features is almost complete. What you can see behind me is the north cell block and the reinstatement of pediments, finials and banding. Over the next few days the curtains will be drawn back and the public allowed their first glimpse of the period features on the southern end of the prison's administration block. Work on the block is nearly done with restoration of the full building and removal of the scaffolding set for the end of the month. There's been a great deal of work going to uh, the south cell block here in, in this area. The north cell block which is obscured in this photograph uh, in this image of John Campbell's butt is obvious here and that's the one you can see over my shoulder and in the central gable here uh, which is part of the admin block. This is the admin block here um, so this is really stage one of a, what probably will be quite a big project to uh, bring this building back into uh, a new civic use for the community. The prison was built 120 years ago and Williams says its period features are slowly being reinstated. I had all its decorative details hacked off, I've redrawn those and created the working drawings for the people to go and install all these decorative details back onto the building. Um, most of them had gone by the uh, late 1940s. The Dunedin City Heritage Fund, New Zealand Lotteries and the Otago Community Trust have all contributed towards the $600,000 cost. Roselle Lebone, The South Today.